Namaste! Grand Rising Big Cat Earth Signs, welcome or welcome back to Big Cat Astrology, Big Cat Wave, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising, the planetary hot topics to add to your almanac over the next seven days. On the 12th of February, the Moon in Pisces is conjunct Neptune in Pisces. It can invoke dreaminess, passivity, and imbalance. Beware of white lies. You telling them, darling dears. Do tell them. And heightened sensitivity, leading to a preference for solitude. Utilize this time for introspection. Writing in your journal or expressing yourself through poetry or song, song lyrics. On the 13th, Aquarius welcomes Mars. All your energies is channeled towards independence. Strive for success through your own merits. You'll be engrossed in technical matters, displaying astute, astuteness and intuition. You might feel a pull towards extraordinary partners. On the 14th, Mars in Aquarius is conjunct Pluto in Aquarius. This conjunction revolves around power. It can ignite your ambition and the urge to execute your ideas at all costs. Ruthless actions now may lead to corresponding counter effects as violence triggers counter violence. Maintaining a positive attitude allows you to achieve much provided you make sensible use of the abundant energies flowing now. During this period it's advisable to avoid Anything risky for safety reasons, including seemingly hazarded places. On the 15th, Taurus New Moon is conjunct Uranus in Taurus. This can be a period of significant and minor changes. Work on what you wish to alter, the reason behind it and the steps to make it happen. This transit heightens your sense of responsibility and organizational talents. It's an opportune time to, to engage with women in groups discussing important matters. On the 16th, Aquarius welcomes Venus. Venus entering Aquarius brings potential changes in your relationships. Um, more time to spend with friends and an expanded social circle. Enjoy the freedom of independence and unconventional partners appearing excuse me during this time will also be eccentric and idealistic on the 17th venus in aquarius is conjunct pluto in aquarius during this transit you might enter a highly physical relationship it's an intense period where you may seek to end toxic relationship that relationships that no longer serve you Opportunities to increase income through business partnerships and shared finances may arise. If you're in the art or music business, you'll feel strongly inspired to so capitalize on the energies being bandied around today. On the 18th, the moon in Gemini trines Mercury in Aquarius. This trine enhances your learning skills, sharpens your mind, improves language proficiency, proficiency good golly and gosh, and um, 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 enhances judgment. Your intelligence is formidable. Practice independent and practical thinking while remaining open to all that is new. It's an excellent time for a road trip. On the 19th, the moon in Cancer trines Saturn in Pisces. This is an optimal period for business meetings, especially with when you're going to be presenting to individuals with high respect and authority. Women in pos positions of power could offer assistance. Handle matters requiring emotional control as you'll feel mentally resilient. 
Financial decisions come easily now, ensuring no extravagant or unnecessary purchases. Please stay tuned in for the tarot reading to follow. Make your wave! Namaste! Grand Rising Earth Sign, welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Big Cat Wave. Let's dive in and unpack your messages for the next seven days. Golly and gosh, you have the energy of an eight earth sign. The number eight is associated with infinity. It's also associated with money, darling dears. Skriller. Dot com, darling dears. This is, your birthday could be the 8th, the 17th or the 26th, or this is going to be a significant date or number in your life. Your luckiest numbers over the next seven days are two, four and eight. Um, Your luckiest days will be Friday, Saturday and Sunday. You are in master manifestation mode, BCAC. Remember I told you that? The CEO of whatever concerns you. The number eight is associated with the letters H, Q, and Z. The number eight is also associated with the planet Saturn, darling dears. And Saturn is associated with the letters P and F. Saturn is the planet of responsibility. You are in your element, so it's one of your house rulers. Mm-hmm. Saturn rules Capricorn as well as Aquarius energy. Okay. This is about something that you've been disciplined about, darling. dear. something that's taken some time. You're going to see the fruits of your labor over the next seven days. Yep. Definitely 100%. The energy of the eight speaks about you having taken the time to um, accomplish or master something, darling. dears. You took action, which is fabulous, gorgeous and lovely because you have achieved self-empowerment. Why? By doing due diligence, darling dear, something that you've been working on is going fabulously well. We have the energy of the four. The four speaks about what communications, darling dears. Mm -hmm. So letters, emails, you're going to be communicated possibly for contracts, darling dears, because the eighth house is about other people's money. Other people invest in you, seeing you as an asset. Why? Because you let go of some way. It's also the eighth is also represented by the eighth house. So your transformation, a spiritual transformation, the eighth house is highly spiritual house. It speaks about you having let go of something, darling dears, some form of karmic debt. It's going to change your what tax bracket, darling dears. Yeah, this could also speak about a business partnership because, it, as I said, it's other people's money. But it's also about your psychic or spiritual awakening, darling dears. It's coming to fruition, so therefore you are about to receive gifts that you have what worked towards, done the due diligence. The number eight is represented by the eighth house, as I said, but as well as in tarot, the strength card and the, the star card, the strength card is about your spiritual strength. It's about you being drama free, darling dears. Mm -hmm. It's also about your spiritual strength, tapping into your instinct. You are now in your authority, darling dears. Trust in the mental growth that you've achieved. It also shows that you, my earth sign, show no weakness. You have a very flamboyant nature, darling dears. You are loyal to a fault, but you've learned whom to be loyal to. Your energy is on fleek, darling dears. Posh, clap. Your aura, your aura is glowing. Mm -hmm. The star energy speaks about healing on a spiritual level. It also speaks about you may have healing qualities, darling dears. Um, spiritual house, you may be using your spiritual gifts, darling dears, to heal others. Some of you will be getting a benefactor or support a supporter. It could be in the form of a sponsorship deal, like I said, a contract, somebody that sees your worth, your gifts and wants to help you expand. It could be you going into a, onto a platform, being in the spotlight, darling dears. The world is a stage, well, guess what? It's your time. My big cat earth sign. Posh, clap, whatever that stage is for you, darling dears. You are about to be highlighted, lifted up in front of many. 
good golly and gosh it looks like the most high took a what um a nobody and lifted them up in front of everybody and now you are somebody gosh clap love it i don't hate it darling dears mm -hmm. you're going to be receiving new pleasures new joy but it's also the pleasure and joy of what fellowship fellowship like-minded souls darling dears okay the energy of the saturn also highlights areas of the skin bones teeth knees and ears you may have been having issues darling dears this is about you coming to fruition having found whatever it is to heal thyself darling dears so i heard holistic holistic somebody's taking a holistic route go for it darling dear seamos 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 see legit see legit see legit yes be a bit try everything Mm -hmm. the energy of the eight is about you going big darling dear being bold at this moment in time it's time for you to what expand your limits you've accumulated a level of knowledge spiritual knowledge as well as what buffing up your psychic and spiritual gifts darling dears you might be challenged and tested at this time or have been going through some challenges and tests. Maybe you haven't seen the fruits of your labor or it's been trickling in. Well, guess what? You're about to get a deluge, darling dears, a deluge of blessings. Mm -hmm. Just stay true to your passions and continue to go for it, darling dears. It's time for you to be prosperous on every level. Mm -hmm. Love it. Opportunities to create more abundance in your life is about to in um present itself darling dears and it's going to impact your present not your future not your past your present moments mm -hmm. just stay focused darling dears on what's your big vision what is it stay focused whatever you've been focused on you're on the right path you're getting what the green light the go ahead darling dears and it's also the discipline it took to get you where you are Remember, my darling dears, it takes just 18 minutes a day in some learning something that you are impassioned with or working amongst it, darling dears, with a passion for you to become an expert over 95% of the population on this Malkuth, darling dears. It takes 10,000 hours to make you a, a full-on expert where you, you are learned, why you've seen, they've done it, read everything, have your own thoughts that you've written down, darling dears. You've achieved some great things. Some great things. Let's get the oracle cards. We're going to use the gods, goddesses and guardians deck. If you'd like to pick it up, follow my link in the description box below to my Amazon storefront. And you too shall own such a gift. What does your ancestors want to say about this? The energy of the eight, darling, is the strength being drama-free, a new beginning. There is always enough, darling, there's no need to worry. This also, I know it's a V sign on a, it could be V for victory, but it's looking to me like water energy, darling, dears. Highly intuitive, as I said, your spiritual gifts. Mm -hmm. Lots of fishes. This is looking like the 12th house. These gifts have attracted a lot of enemies towards you, darling, dear. Yeah, but your patience. You was the seed that the Most High planted, darling dears. And you fed the wolf of what self, darling dear. The one that was loyal to self. It took a time for whatever it is to come to fruition. To build, to grow. But you have to remember sometimes when you are put on pause. It's because Divine wants you to learn more. To expand more on your knowledge. Not be what? Um, tunnel visioned. Absolutely fabulous, gorgeous and lovely. I'm not going to read them both. We're going to go with Sedna. I'll show it to you so you can screenshot and read it to your leisure or leisure. Sedna is on page 150. The one and five goes to a six. So it speaks about what? Harmony, teamwork and cooperation. People are coming to support you, darling dears. A people or a person. If you have a platform, this is your time. Mm-hmm love it i don't hate it you're nurturing darling dears whatever you do it makes people feel um um protected because you're community orientated your gifts are community orientated the energy of the six is ruled by the sextile aspect in astrology it speaks about 
it can be a lazy aspect, darling, dear, but it also says that you're being supported. Everything in your life is being harmonized, all relationships, darling, dear. How you relate to things and how things relate to you, why you're a, a magnet over the next seven days of reaping what you sowed. You are that seed, okay? I'll just read what sticks out to me. Um, be thankful of every gift you receive. The supply of oxygen, your daily food and water, your home and clothing, kindness from a stranger, support from your loved one. Balance and gratitude are everything. You must you must not hoard or be stingy, nor must you be wasteful or steal from life. Be honourable with money. Do the best to pay off debts and create healthy budgets. Have respect and gratitude for natural resources. Work on your relationship with money. Because money is coming towards you, darling dears. We also have Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga is on page 54. As I said, 54 is a nine. Things have come to fruition. Things are coming full circle, darling dears. Your hard work is paying off in a big way. Hey, hey. Okay. Um, here we go. Patience. You just screenshot and read it your leisure or leisure. Okay. Let things develop gradually. Take your time. Preserve your journey without grasping for immediate gratification. Instant results are not the way of Baba Yaga. She's inviting you to build something of quality, of real substance, something that endures. Keep going, even when it seems as if nothing is happening. What did I just tell you, big cat bestie? Oi! There are ages and stages of accruing spiritual knowledge. You don't need to ask frantic questions of the universe, of your teachers, of yourself. Rest assured the answers will come when it's time. You're not being given everything at once because rushing will spoil the end result. Slow cooking yields the richest, tastiest dishes. Let go of your, of your fast-paced agenda. Allow Baba Yaga to work your timeless magic. What did I say, darling? Yes, I just felt my heart chakra swell up then. Wow, everything is a sign. Mm -hmm. And the goddess Isis comes through, darling dears. Isis, the goddess of 10,000 names. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely fabulous, gorgeous, and lovely. Isis. Let's, can, we, can we quickly talk about Isis? Isis is the goddess of the sky, darling dears. Um, she was the queen of Egypt. She was the sibling, sibling of Osiris, um, Seth, and Nephis. Nephis? Yes, yes, yes. She was also the wife of her brother, Osiris. And Seth was jealous and murdered his brother and cut up his body. And Isis found everything except his, his um, phallus. But yet she was still able to get pregnant. And that's how she birthed her son, Horus. Okay. So this is like um, mother, child, and spirit, darling dears. You're being blessed by the goddess Isis to move forward in your life. She is the mother of hidden wisdom as well as what magical spells. And magic is definitely moving in your life over the next seven days. She's also the mother of literature, writing, library, um, the colors of blue, wealth and prosperity, darling dears, amongst many other things. She's all goddesses. You are being majorly blessed, darling dears. And you have the eight. <laughs> hey! Feet don't fail you now, darling dears. Oh, wow. I love this. I don't hate it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's get a deck, darling dears. Let's get a deck. Oh, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all a kerfuffle, darling dears. Flying all over the place. Let's get a deck. I'm going to use the Modern Witch Tarot. I haven't used that in a while. You've got options coming towards you. Seven of Cups, darling dears. Let's put Saturn up. So we remember the energy because Saturn does bring limitations. But you have to see past the limitations, which you have obviously done. Because this is a blessing, darling dears. All eyes are facing forward. This is current energy that you are stepping into. You've turned a chapter in your life. Mm-hmm. Okay. Your overall theme with Saturn energy, darling dears, is 
continue to move forward, to go after it. You've got the energy of what? Innovation, darling dears, and to, to use this innovation intelligently. You've learned how to watch, strategize and create. This is why you was that planted seed. You had to learn these different levels. What about the work and finances for the big cat earth signs? For the next seven days. Mm -hmm. You've got high priestess energy, darling dears. The seeds you sow, you've got offers coming towards you, darling dears. Good golly and gosh. You're gonna have to have you're gonna have reason to celebrate. Knight of Cups, Four of Cups. Four of Cups is going to create a lot of um, hidden enemies, darling. There's your rise. People are seeing you rise up from the ashes. Baby, posh clap. Has your big cat chronicles continues. Yeah, people are watching this. It also speaks about people watching you online. There's a lot of jealousy being directed at you, but these are people that did not help you water your own grass, darling. There's if you have an op, I believe that there is going to be a signing of some kind of contract, darling dear, which is going to be significant. Why? It's going to set the stage for your foundation, right? Going forward, darling dear. This is the one of abundance. Isis herself has come to bless this. And what sacred contracts are about to be what? Completed in what safe spaces? Yes, you are, darling dears. Read the fine print, but this definitely is all go. It's been a long time coming. This could be the energy of a new job, your business taking off. You could be even be a tarot reader, darling dears, or highly intuitive. But your gifts are different, darling dears. This is why you're going to be celebrated. This is about getting recognition for work previously done. Yeah, because you was that seed tower moment in the reverse. It felt like you was on a hamster wheel at one point, repeating the same cycle. But you had to learn different levels of knowledge, as well as what self-awareness, darling dears. You have gifts and you have skills and you're going to be celebrated. You are being blessed in a big way financially. Your health is looking good on the up and up. This goes to Eight of Pentacles. Well-deserved rewards, darling dears. Your efforts, you took the time because you are coming across as what? A major craftsperson in your field. You have been committed to this direction. Well, this direction is about to what? Pay you in kind. You've raised the bar for whatever field you're in, darling dears. Good golly and gosh. Your ambitions are about to pay off because you... Like I said, it was the higher learning, the new skills. Some of you are realising that letting go of marriage of convenience, whether it was friendship, it could also have been the marriage of what doing a job that no longer serves you. Because it was also the element of retirement here for some. Yeah. These are going to be your golden years, darling dears, because you've, you've built something. This could be um, a side hustle. It's been built up, darling dears. I'm seeing... I heard literary because... Isis is the goddess of writing and literature, darling dears. Something that you wrote down. It could be an affirmation. It could have been something you wrote down, darling dears. You, it's coming full circle and you're about to get back what you truly deserve. But this is also what the energies that you'll be celebrating with will be like-minded. Remember, I told you that possibly feminine energy. But you have to also what avoid or be aware, high priestess energy, of a lot of jealousy will be directed at you through feminine energy possibly trying to argue and fight with you darling dears king of wands yeah i want to take your strength we was already talking about the strength card don't waste your time with that energy darling dears you've tried to plot it and strategize people are seeing you as star charming your words are going to be heard on the world stage remember i told you that get to it darling dears get to it what about for my single earth signs Mm. 11 11 fate darling dears this is movement this is like-minded colleagues this is being celebrated yeah four of ones highly spiritual this is a spiritual time for you your ascension whatever it is that you took the time to learn the knowledge in and do your due diligence certain energy you are going to be gifted with rewards this darling dears is an 11 11 fate right mm -hmm. instant manifestation Gateways and portals are opening for you, ones which you truly deserve to walk through. Saturn also what has taught you 
the lesson of what controlled your temper. You don't get mad, darling dears. You turned your pain into power. And now you're being gifted with Pentecales. Pentecales comes in many forms. It comes in the form of health. It comes in the form of um, substance, finances, darling dears, loyalty, mm -hmm. education, the higher education that you've achieved. Maybe somebody wants to achieve higher education. You're getting the blessings, darling dears. Going for a new what? Opening a new beginning. My singles. Wowzers. Good golly and gosh. And some people you left behind are proper sorry. They're under judgment. Karma card. Good golly and gosh. The judgment card on its face. Some people are in denial. Mm -hmm. These people are weak, darling dears. They could never have done what you did, my singles. You are thinking clearly. Whoever you cut off in the past, they are press pumped and perturbed, watching you get victory after victory. And you are about to be blessed in their face over the next seven days. People that didn't think you'd get where you was going, well, you continue to make the right choices. Highly spiritual card. Watch the reading I put up yesterday. Or last, well, it's going to be last week when you see this, the one that says, what's coming? Yeah. Fall down seven times, get up eight, darling. This, you are the original bad girl, bad boy, red light, green light champion. Posh, clap. I am a red light, green light champion of 79. You've done the DS like a boss, but you became learned. This was what a trust fall. And your right decisions are coming, are what paying off for you, darling. This, you're going to get some kind of invite, some kind of invitation. But I see a contract, but this contract is going to be made. It's going to be in your favor. Why? Number one, you're quick thinking. Number two, you've got the experience because you've done the due diligence. Yeah. And the jealousy could be stemming to you from what siblings, darling, dears. Yeah. Because of the major choices you made in your life, you reconnected with your inner passion, which you was cut off from a long time. Yeah. Lovers, Gemini, energy, communication. You'll be taking short journeys, trips, darling, dears. But it's the, your wider family is going to be looking at you, all eyes on the throne. But they can't come back, darling. There's world card on its face. You're being watched on the world wide web. And someone or someone's spying from your past, darling. Dears. They're going to watch you win. Yeah, they don't. They didn't live it. They didn't see it for you, darling. There's well, guess what? They're going to have to eat shit. Yeah, stay far from you because what you're saying keep the same energy that you had for me. Mm -hmm. What about my couples? We've got the temperance energy on its face, darling dears. Okay, there's a lack of balance, a lack of communication. What else? A difficult journey. They've been going through some dark, struggling times. Mm -hmm. There might be a lot of disruptive energy around you at this moment in time. Somebody doesn't feel like they're in control of their situation. They feel like their partner or someone around them is being extremely dishonest. Seven of, oh my gosh, good golly and gosh, two sevens on the tableau. Someone, does, someone is feeling extremely uneasy, darling dears. It could have something to do with the health, the finances, darling dears, as, they, as well as their time, feeling as though they wasted time in a situation. Someone is trying to poo-poo their fears, darling dears, by trying to laugh it off with, you know, trying to make jokes of somebody's, what, intuition. And that's a bad idea. That's the first mistake. Someone is telling lies, darling dears. Why is someone telling lies in a partnership or a relationship as a distraction? Why wheel of fortune? Listen, this is bad luck. But it's telling some lies about a trip that was taken, darling dears. A trip that was taken. King of Pelenticales. Somebody was living large out there in them streets, darling dears. What did they invest in? Chariot energy. Yeah. They invested in this movement, darling dears, which was what? N listen, somebody misappropriated funds in a partnership. Yeah. Made big moves with this money. Tower is coming on top. We've got the Saturn energy, discipline, rules and regulations. This is information coming on top in a partnership, darling dears. Yes. Somebody wasn't quick with hiding certain informations which is going to break a situation. This could also speak about they're facing a prison sentence, darling dears. Yes, they are for the misappropriated funds, the wasting of funds. There's a paper trail that's about to be discovered in a partnership and there'd be no healing in that situation. Somebody's going to prison, darling dear, with the prisoners. Yeah. 
So what they thought they was taking crumbs or they took crumbs that they was gradually gradually taken from a partnership. Yep. They thought they was taking they was taking little bits at a time, but the little bits have gone into a big bit. Somebody's got their third eye on that bitch or midge. Yeah. A new beginning because new evidences are coming through. Somebody's getting what they truly deserve. Someone is building a case against somebody in a partnership. And it don't look good for who's been hoodwinking the funds and the resources, darling dear. Split the deck. Look. Page of Pentacle is on its face, darling dears. Yep, the devil, the devil was in the details. Somebody took that money. They was the money, the resources, whatever they took, but it's coming on top, darling dears. Things are going to be revealed. Well, ISIS is here. The truth teller, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Some information that is going to be what? Resurrected from the dead. Someone is not going to be able to get away from a paper trail. They didn't cover their tracks very properly. Or they believed if they continued to take little bits, it would be noticed. Well, guess what? God saw that. And now they've got the big finger or the word on them, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Anything else for my earth signs to be aware of? Did the card spin? Yeah, hang man, this new perspective that you're getting, darling dears. I told you, spiritual upgrade, darling dears. You've got to think think more of the communication that you are now being gifted with your higher self, King of Pentecale. Be assured in these new ideas that are coming towards you, especially if it's pertaining to your health, especially if it's pertaining to business, darling dears. Situations in the past, you must leave them behind because you can't heal them. Queen of Wands, you're looking good. You don't look like what you've been through, darling dear, right? Yeah, but you've moved on mentally from a situation. This is why you're being blessed. And this is like the high, the um, Empress card. Yep. Baddest of them all. Oh, this is looking so good. Your money's looking good. Beware, darling dears. Because people will come in with what? The mask wearing marauders to try and take from you. Because you're winning over the next seven days. But this is all spiritually guided, darling dears. What you got to be aware of is that other people trying to take... Or those that are coming through, darling, they're the begging bowls, the same ones that put you in the position or was waiting for you to what? Be brown bread that's dead, pushing up daisies, darling dears. Beware of people trying to return to eat off your table, the same ones whose tables you had to get up from. What was the overall lesson for my earth signs? Thank you. Stand your ground, Scott. Eh? Yeah, even when your voice is shaking. You are unique. You are different. Your spiritual gifts are going to put you in what? A position of strength over the next seven days. The energy of the seven, darling dears. It speaks about what you had the time to reflect. You've been within, darling dears. You've gone within, right? But it's now time to what you for you to relocate yourself, darling dears. Put your energies, your words out there because everything is being magically guided and protected. This is also spiritual protection, darling dears. Mm -hmm. We also have the energy of the seventh house, and again, the seventh house is contractual partnerships. This could be business partnerships, um, negotiations going down for you, darling dears. Yep, but you're doing something. I believe you are doing something that involves the general public. You've got something out there, darling dears. Continue to project your your gifts out there because you are being recognised and you're about to be lifted up. But as I said, it's also going to create a lot of open enemies. But good gosh, you, ain't nobody's checking for them, boo, darling dears. Don't worry about the dark energies. Anything sent towards what you do, you lock and bind it with love and light and you give it to the most high. You don't keep that energy around and you don't send it back. Why? Divine is telling you this is not the time to play spiritual ping pong. You're about to be blessed for your hard efforts and your hard works. Mm. Let me get one final card. And then we're off to get great. Gonna use Kipper. One final card for my earth signs. Messages for the next seven days. Something that was bad health, darling dear. But it also was an opportunity, a window, a new beginning. And this pathway that you're on is bringing nothing but transformation in your life. What's this? A full on change wheel of fortune. Could be an inheritance. You may even gamble on the lottery, but it's definitely the signing of contracts, darling dears. You've got the eight, the energy of the eight, which has been perme permeating all of this reading, darling dears. We have the energy of the four, the reduction of the eight. This is a stable foundation. 
Yeah, you're about to be blessed in many a face, darling dears. They're all locked up in their mind. And I told you, someone is going to prison in a partnership or relationship. Misappropriation of funds, darling dears. Yep, but your, your fate is assured again. We have the energy of the nine distant horizons. On that note, I drops me mic. Told over to my Teesprings where you can purchase the channel merchandise. Support the big cat, yeah. Or my Patreon or my TikToks where I also upload videos. If you'd like a personal read, please hit me up in the Gmail. All of my intel is in the description box below. Thank you very much for your continued support of me in this channel. Your likes, your subscribes, your shares, and most importantly, your comments, darling dears. Because your words are a survival kit for another big cat. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, be your way. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, 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 cat. The beat is no longer a mystery. Black sheep is your bird fight. It's cold for the one who brings the light. I bet if there's a crack, you don't fall back. Remember who you are. No rest for the wicked with their skull degree. The you spell workers' projection to send out envy, hate, and jealousy. You are the prototype, your ancestors champion. They shield you and send back those spiritual attacks. You are divinely protected from the dummy bats. Yeah. Big Cat, the most high, got your back. He sits high and looks low, so don't get smoked to smoke yourself. Big Cat, move in silence. Only time you speak is to say checkmate.